Welcome to the Daily Synopsis. The Andhra Pradesh High Court today directed the state government to develop and construct the Amravati capital city and the Amravati capital region within six months. A full bench of the court comprising of Justice Prashant Kumar Mishra, Justice M. Satya Narayan Murthy and Justice DVSS Somya Julu rendered the decision in the three capitals case which was challenging the Andhra Pradesh Capital Region Development Repeal Act 2020 passed by the YS Jagan Mohan Reddy led government. The court held that the legislature had no legislative competency to pass any law for the change of capital either for bifurcation or trifurcation of the capital city. The Supreme Court today declined to entertain a public interest litigation filed by a Hindu Sena leader seeking the disqualification of candidates from the Samajwadi Party, the Aam Admi Party and the Indian National Congress for the upcoming assembly polls to be held in Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. A bench of Chief Justice of India and V. Ramana along with Justices A.S. Bopana and Hima Kohli observed that the plea was a publicity-oriented stunt, especially since many political parties had been made respondents in the case. The petition said that these parties and their candidates were offering freebies to voters provided they came to power and that the same amounts to corrupt practices and bribery under the Representation of People's Act 1951. In a petition seeking the evacuation of Indians stuck in Ukraine amidst the ongoing military strikes by Russia, the Supreme Court of India mused how it can give directions to stop the war. Chief Justice of India N. V. Ramana, however, said that the court would seek the assistance of Attorney General K. K. Venugopal on this. The Madras High Court strongly recommended that the state government should provide separate reservations for the third gender or transgender persons in public employment. Justice M.S. Ramesh criticized the move of the state government to provide combined reservation to women and transgenders, stating that this was violative of the Supreme Court's Nalsa judgment. The court also called for relaxations in physical measurement tests for transgender persons on par with the concessions extended to women candidates and those belonging to other socially and economically backward classes. Senior advocate Harish Salve told the Supreme Court today that no one was winning the legal battle between Amazon and the future group of companies. The submission was made during the hearing of Amazon's challenge to a Delhi High Court order staying the proceedings before the Singapore International Arbitration Centre in relation to the e-commerce giant's 2019 deal with future coupons. After a discussion with the parties, the court said that it would adjourn the matter for 10 days in order to enable the parties to work out an arrangement between themselves for the larger interests of business. In the meantime, the Delhi High Court and the NCLAT will not pass any orders, the bench said, adjourning the matter to March 15th. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon.